everything's getting really expensive these days, so I'm going to adopt a take no prisoners attitude towards trash picking. Anything I can grab, I'm going to grab. Wow. I'm not sure I can get past this. What do we got? Got a bunch of these transformer things. You know what, why don't I keep the whole, the whole basket? That's a nice basket. Wonder if any of these pumps work. All right, what else do we have here? Chainsaw. Three-legged metal thing. That's about it. Hopefully no one's watching me because I got a few things I got to re-gift here. These big stupid boards that I took <laughs> years ago. <Oop>. There. <laughs> My car is wicked loud today too. I got all kinds of problems. But we're going to have a great day. So welcome to trash picking. We're almost done with town number one. Whoa, that thing's heavy as, heavy as heck. Let's see what we got here. Black and Decca something or other. I don't know what this is. I mean, it's got a, like a fluid hose. BDSS 100. Scroll saw. I don't know. Never seen a scroll saw where the Where the platform was that heavy, especially these little black and decker type of things. What else do these people have? A dummy. I don't usually take those. I also usually don't cut air conditioner cords, but. I know everybody who's gonna take that air conditioner and they're not gonna take take it for anything but scrap right now. I want that bucket too. We're not gonna get loaded up on buckets today though. All right, just a few more streets in this town and then we'll go to 
town number two for the rest of the day. We're in town number two, and we're taking a little field trip down the sidewalk. Look at this nice fancy croquet set. Whoa! It's got a gosh darn mind of its own. Now to be honest, I've never really taken a croquet set before. I just always take the balls. Let's see if they have the balls here. Look at this nice pillow. That's embroidered. There's another nice embroidered pillow. There's another one. Uh-oh. I think these people sell on eBay. That's usually a clue. Like if you see priority mailboxes in someone's uh, garbage. Wow. <laughs> Do I look stupid right now? Should I put the camera down here? Croquet cart cam. Anyway, what do we got? Forster? I've never taken one of these before, so I'm curious to see if anyone will care, but I do have plenty of croquet balls. That's for sure. Huh. I did it again. I popped the trunk. All right. There you go. Stop number one, town number two. Check it out, we just went shopping at the Dollar Tree, AKA the sidewalk. I couldn't show you, cause I had to walk all the way down the sidewalk and I was on the phone. Got a Michelob Mira. Look at this thing. Here is my justification for sending you a picture frame in expressing my congratulation for your long-awaited wedding. First of all, the flower is a symbol of maturity and everybody likes it, I suppose. May I suggest that you hang the frame somewhere in your bedroom. May there be many happy days in your future. That's your wedding gift? What a cheapskate. Then we got this nice mid-century lamp. This thing's cool as hell. I don't know what it is. Made in Hong Kong like Jackie Chan. Then we got a uh, US Military Academy mug and a Quavassier cannon style dispenser. You put your bottle in here and you can just tip your cognac out there. Then we got uh, some more stuff about getting drunk. People love getting drunk, huh? I'm not into it, but you know, 
Uh, it kind of looks like my girlfriend and she likes dolphins and getting drunk, so maybe I'll give that to her. Little Quarvasier, just in case you are so desperate to get drunk during the day that you have to keep this in your pocket. And last but not least, the uh, the tankard. Hey, what's up? This is actually an ice bucket. But I guess you could drink beer out of it. So, for those of you who want to uh, get fit chased, as they say, this is a lovely selection of things and stuff that we got at the Dollar Tree, AKA um, somebody's garbage. Caught this one out of the corner of my eye. And I'm glad I did. Holy cow. Seriously, I was about to take a left and I just saw this, this tire poking out. I mean, this bike, that is so legit. Too legit to quit. Wow. Yeah, you know you're in a rich town when somebody threw that out. God damn. Oh, and look at this too. Cast Iron Mermaid. That's fun, right? I might tuck that surly inside the car just so none of my competitors get sad that I found it. And then check this out. It's a stand for working on bikes. Wow. All right, so we were just talking about the cost of gas and how it cost me 35 bucks to go trash picking today. And you know what? I would say my ROI just absolutely went through the roof. All right, I'm gonna go somewhere safe, take apart this bike and shove it in the back just so no one gets their panties in a bunch. All right. I figured out a way to throw off my uh, competitors. I'll put this little Schwinn on the back. And then, uh, it's in the garbage, right? You're throwing this bike out, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. See, the thing with that Surly is A, I almost didn't even see it there. And B, I had to drive down the block to get it. And this is a small town. And there's like a dozen people out picking right now. So it was nerve wracking hoping that I didn't miss out on it. This is a very real possibility that someone else could have come along and snatched it. Ugh. And there's no real courtesy like, oh, were you going to grab that? No, it's whoever gets to it first. So, the fact that somebody threw that away and the fact that I'm the lucky stiff who got it makes it a great day but this Schwinn is really pretty Ugh. all right I can't get it buckled in but you get the idea I don't know, this, I think this is probably a Target bike, but 
Actually looks a lot nicer than that. <laughs> That's how you know it's a Target bike. A bike shop employee wouldn't need to know that. All right, so. I really thought today was gonna be awful, but it looks like it's awful good. It's raining bikes. I just want to make sure that these are actually garbage bikes. Let's see. Flat tires, rusty bolts, brakes don't work. They threw it right in the ground. Brakes don't work on this one. Rusty chain. Back wheel might need slight adjustment. All right, I'm gonna pull my car over a little bit and then we're gonna get these on the rack. And I just figured out the title of this video. $1,500 worth of bikes for $35 worth of gas. Let's see, can we do this? Without getting killed, without getting snaked. Like, you see where my car is? You see where the bikes are? I'm not even kidding. Some of the people that pick around here, if they came along right now, they'd snatch those bikes right up. That's how gnarly it is sometimes. But I think we are safe. And I'm actually quite stunned at the fact that we have found so much crazy bikeage. Hey, look at this thing. Whoa, crazy, right? You want to get a thumbnail? I don't know, we might have to, uh, we might have to use the surly for the thumbnail. But anyway, what an insane day. Cause I seriously thought I was gonna find nothing. And now I've found so many bikes that they're tangled with each other. Get out. There. There's your thumbnail, lady. Anyway, I'll get these strapped on and uh, then we'll keep going because we've really only been here for like a couple hours. Well, you're never gonna believe what just happened. The kid who lives here pulled up and said, uh, sir, do you want another bike? I have it in the backyard. And he brought this out. The Trek Jetta. <laughs> like, what the, what the F? You used to have to buy an entire Volkswagen Jetta to get this bike. Like I had a friend who really, really, uh, he did. <laughs> so what the f Oh my God, we got a Surly three tracks and a Schwinn. On a day when I thought we were gonna get, you know, two things, Jack and shit. We're on a busy main road again. 
but that's not going to stop us. Because look at what we got. We got our favorite thing. Wait, plates. And a dumbbell. Because I guess you could say that I'm a dumbbell for parking where I'm parked. Let's see what's in the sack. That's kind of nice. Oh, really? This is not a time for my doors to be locked. All right. Back to the task at hand. Oh, look at this. Is that worth anything? I don't know. It's made of some kind of metal. Oh, look at that goblet. Got the dude's name on it. All right. And I suppose we can't live without this bar. Wow. Maybe it wasn't worth taking that. Anything else? No. All right. We got a way clean and we got something to show for it. This could be a problem. Well, the address labels on that box could be a problem. Really? See, normally I'm not into beach cruisers, but this is a Linus. Like, you, you never find this. How do we find a Surly and a Linus on the same day? And don't worry about how I'm gonna get that in that car because that's my problem. But, uh, this is nuts. Where's Veloria when you need her, right? That is such a cool bike. Does it come with a free blanket? No, you don't get that? All right. Anyway, I've run out of things to say, but this is a crazy bike day. Just crazy. Maybe that's our thumbnail. I gotta get like just enough footage, you know, so I can put some words at the bottom and whatnot. I can't, I can't, a Surly and a Linus in one day. I'm speechless. I'm never really, literally speechless, but you know, close enough. I'm trying to figure out if we should end this video or not. Last night I did like nine gigabytes of footage, which is crazy. Wanna see if there's anything in this treasure chest? No treasure. Oh, look, though. <laughs> Come here, you. It's a wheat penny. What year is that? I can't read it from here. That's the first time I ever found it treasure 
on the outside of the treasure chest. Well, we should have went home two hours ago because we found nothing, but you know what? No complaints. Because we found a Surly and a Linus in one day. That's crazy. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do this. See what we got cooking here. And we'll call it a night. Need a pen. Santa Claus. Those are nice. Nice little seashell candles. And they're LED candles too. Flameless. Oop. All right. I don't know what that is. Might have to blur that out. All right, the tailgate thing from a Nissan Rogue. A bucket that I kind of want, but we probably can't fit it in the car. But I might take it anyway. A butt pillow. I don't know what the, oh, an air cast for your wrist. Thing to put shoes under your bed. Yeah, I don't want to like throw shade at this pile because these people are nice enough to put it out and it's neat and clean and organized and has a lot of shampoo in it, but I think it pales in comparison. <laughs> pales. It pales. This, whatever. It pales in comparison to all the rest of the stuff we got tonight. Anyway, this was a fantastic day. And it totally makes up for last night when we really found next to nothing. So, as always, I appreciate you guys keeping me company. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>